Chris, the, what I want to ask you about, since you're here, is the... Um, oh, I'll give you... So I'll wind up your microphone there. I'm on too. You are. Okay. We're all set. You're both lost in your phones, just well, about. Well, you but that's, a, to, that's a good... You don't actually have to broadcast that on air at all. Well, no, 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 no. But, well, it's sort of relevant, because we're going to go to the Gadget well, Show. I don't think it was quite relevant. Next, next year. Yes, yeah, In Which, may I add, I've already got tickets for. And exclusively, to get those tickets, you can go to www.thegadgetshow.com. And so, what I, what I thought we might talk about is what happened last year and how this coming year is going to be even better. What happened last year, I got on your nerves, that's what happened. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> John, you do tend to get rather excited, and you go up to people and demand information, yes, and then do. if they don't give it to you straight away, you wander off and ask somebody else. Well, wouldn't you and do the same? Well, no, no. Right. You ask somebody <laughs> something, and then they'll probably want to give you the answer, because that's their job after all, and they're very nice people. Yes, indeed. But they might have something else to do. Um, so you wait patiently, and eventually they will tell you the answer. Hello? Oh, we've got a phone call now. So I'll carry on talking, but we, we're answering the phone as well, because that's the sort of people we are. No, uh, could, could, oh, I, right, could I stress, this is... This is actually the studio phone and you're interrupting a broadcast. Could could you send him an email, please? <laughs> but anyway, it is uh, our policy not, to answer the phone. No, no, not that I know of, but it's extremely inconvenient. You're, you're, well, you're phone, well, that's not phoning, their fault, you're John. They, the they've just got... The, you're, look, you're somebody's phoning phone phone off M, so could, could John. You, could, you, could you phone... Could, could you email Dave to her? Have you, have you got his email address? Thank you, bye. Well, that's all right. That, See, that's the, that's the kind of... Well, John, just have a bit of sympathy, because the kind of people at, at, at the NEC, at BET, not BET, uh, the gadget show, <laughs> who people like you are wandering up to saying, uh, wh how do I get to stand whatever it is, they've probably got 87 other things going on. They're trying to do a radio show and answer the phone and so forth. So anyway, what struck me was um, we didn't really, at the show, find out much about radio. Uh Although, no, his phone's talking to him. Um, anyway, Chris, Chris, yeah. uh, what did you find about radio, specifically, at the Gadget Show? Found, we found a mixing desk where you could edit things. Right. Um, and I remember looking at that and thinking that was very cool. So, was it aimed at professional radio or was it aimed at the home consumer? Home consumer, I think. Yeah, well this is what I... This is what, if you... The, the, the sound in the background is, John, is John's phone which is talking to him, which is good. That's a good thing, because vo voice recognition and voice communication that seems to be where the phones are, are going at the moment. Yeah. But there weren't a lot of phones at the show. JD, no, if you're listening. No, uh, no. I need to get something across to JD if he's listening in Tesco's car park. <laughs> JD, if you're listening in Tesco's car park, please could you instruct me on Thursday how to get this phone back to audio. Um, back to mono. Back to stereo. Yes. Thank you so much, <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday for going back to the original conversation now. Right. Yeah, because um, the playing tracks from the phone is very good, but they may not be in stereo. So if, 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 if we'll try and get them in stereo. So if you have any ideas, feel free to call in on the studio phone for a studio when it's necessary well, to use support. the studio yeah. phone. You can exactly. call in on the studio phone on 01392 434577. Yes. So, Chris, yeah. my impression was that the gadget show is aimed at the home, the home situation. Yes. It's sort of aimed at end users, really. Yes. And the radio is sort of incidental to it. Uh, <laughs> well, the fact that we could use some of the some of the technology in a studio. Yeah. That was just by chance. Yeah. So that, but that is interesting, isn't it? Because. If we go to when we went to Bet, for example, which John and I went to, and we're going to try and go there again this this year. There was a stu studio equipment aimed at schools, but it was it was all the sort of classic radio industry equipment. 
Um, yet what we have ended up spending money on, which is our Bluetooth little box, which feeds into the, the desk here, uh, is really a sort of a, a consumer electronics item. I thought you bought that at Staples. We did, yes. Oh. We, 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 we never bought anything. Well, we didn't end up by. I don't think we bought... No, I can't think of anything we actually bought at the Gadget Show or at Bet. Oh, we, no, we did. We bought a little microphone, sort of recording microphone, didn't we? we bought, uh, yes. We bought that at, at, uh, at Bet. And I bought, uh, well, me and John bought T-shirts at the Gadget <laughs> Show. Well, that's true. I have, to, I have to say, Will, and I'm sure, lo- I'm sure this audience would, w- wouldn't mind hearing it, actually. Mm. And I'm, I've already had a discussion with Chris. Mm. I thought you were extremely miserable going into the Barringham NEC. And I didn't understand why you didn't want us to line up for a photo. It was extremely rude. Oh. Well, yeah, well, I, 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 wanted to, I wanted to go and look at the show. Yeah, but yes, I can understand that. But normally it's, it's professional practice to actually stand there with your colleagues and, and go, yeah. Hello. Yeah, well, you know, it's not... Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, but I mean, I did take a photo of you two. And I photoshopped myself into it later. Oh. I thought that was enough. Did you? Yeah. Well, might I suggest this year that that to that to present um, Phonic FM, we should we should stand we we should stand together and get somebody to take to take a photo of us. It's just oh, it's right. just slightly more professional, you see. Okay. I think I think it would be a good idea. Seeing seeing we're, we're presenting this wonderful studio in Exeter, and seeing that we're presenting each of our shows, including the Wild Show on the first day. And, this show here today. Right. I mean, it's very good. It's, it would be very nice of you. You see, it's it's just it's just a bit of um. Okay. It's just um. All right. It's just. Well, look, decency, we'll do, we'll do all see? the pu- we'll do all the publicity shots and the t-shirt and everything. But we we've got to we've got to we've got to actually prepare which stand we're going to and what we can find out there. And well, you don't have to, you don't have to get a t-shirt. May I add? Well, I might get a t-shirt, but it's not the. Yeah, I'm not getting one this year. I got one last year. I'm exactly. Like, I might get yeah. One. Yeah. So anyway, let's 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 carry on carry on with this because it seems to me like <laughs> mobile phones and the kind of gadgets you get at the gadget show. Mobile phones that you don't use. Well, I know I don't use my phone very much. <laughs> it's true. But just in theory, they seem to me to be getting closer to how you produce bits of sound. I'd like to contradict John on that. Oh. You did use your phone at the gadget show. You tweeted an empty glass. That's true, yes. <laughs> and a glass of lemonade. Yeah, in the Weatherspoons. We did go in the yeah. Weatherspoons. At the NEC. Other Weatherspoons are available, it should be said. Yes. Yeah. You and don't have to go to the NEC. No, <laughs> if you're at the NEC... It's it would be a bit there. of a problem to come back to Exeter to you, to you Georgia, and then go back to the <laughs> NEC. Well, yeah, but I mean, in terms of conversation, whatever we find out about the gadgets available, um, we could go to Weatherspoons and take a photograph of the empty glasses. Yeah, we should, and we should stress that there are other, other Weatherspoons available. Yes, yes. <laughs> so. That's all right. That's a very important part of our journey. There are other pubs available. Well, we could say that as well. And yeah. sometimes we just drink coffee. Yeah. We yeah. do. We do. Up in the Phoenix Bar or Cafe 55? Yes, Cafe yes. 55, which I must start I'm nearly barred from. Uh. Well, no, no, we won't go into all of that, John. <laughs> no. no, we're not barred from anywhere at the moment. <laughs> No, and, um, there was a calming and, influence yeah, I, I might be calm, And I shall deny knowing you anyway, <laughs> if it gets serious. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> let's go back. Oh, man. Let's go back. Just behave yourself, John. Behave yeah. yourself. Let's go back, if we can, to the gadget show. <coughs> because all we're, all we're bothered at the moment is, is radio, bits of sound. Oh, hello, we need to Somebody's answer the door. The doorbell. You, if you two will talk amongst yourselves, I'll go and answer the door. I'll go. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Chris is going to go. We'll play a record. It might well, be... It might, oh, it's, sto- it's stopped. Might be JD. Well, it might be. Anyway, we're going to investigate that. I should, I should, play, I should play another record. This is, um, this is Martina, Martina McBride again, and uh, this is a cover of um, a Supreme song. 